My number one least favorite comment on these road to SSLs is Luke. I wish my games at your rank were this easy. You see, the problem with watching replays is everything looks simple. Yet when I see players get into games at their rank, they're losing to the same players they say are bad. So in this video, I'm going to simplify things and show you the exact play style you can immediately implement into your games to make players at GC look this easy. You'll be surprised by what it takes to win at GC1. This is episode episode 17 of the road to SSL. If you don't know me, my name's Luke and I'm a top 0.1% rated coach, but what I'm mainly known for is running Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside, we take hard stuck platinum through champ ranked players up to GC in just six weeks. And actually, as of when I'm recording this, I was just released from the emergency room. And since I've been out, we have more open spots for coaching than we've had in months. So if you want in before the content picks back up and we bug out again, my team is looking for just five more players this weekend who want to get that GC title. If that's you, DM me with the keyword five and we can talk details. Click the first link down in the description below to join the Discord and message my team below. Otherwise, enjoy the games. Thank you for all the high YouTube chat and we're straight in the first video. Oh, Thurge. Thurge was in our first, uh, was in the last episode and he played quite well, if I remember. So let's get it. Speed flip for kickoff. Time to play. All right, ball goes into the corner. I want to chase down corner boost. He does a good job of rotating back, so I'm going to see if I can grab their corner boost here. Turn ball cam back on, and that was almost super risky. I'm going to fake one way, go the other. It was super risky of me. Oh, we we won that 50, so I want to take this ball up the field quick. Um, unfortunately, Thurge wasn't there. That's fine. Um, that was very risky of me, actually, to go for their corner boost before I knew we were safe, but that's all right. Thurge is going to get a great shot. Makes it super easy on me. Great pass. 1-0 us. We'll go for kickoff again. He's going to be back right. I'll head it to the right. I'm going to let Thurge take the ball. He's going to rip a shot right away, and that's a beaut. Unfortunately, it doesn't go in, so I'm just going to look for demo. Get out of here. What? That wasn't a demo. All right, I'll just hit it back into the corner, and we should be totally safe here. Just going to push it in a straight line, and notice how I'm not scared to put the ball into my corner because my corner is the safest place. Now, I don't want to boom the ball away. I want to get it out of their corner back to my teammate, if at all possible. Unfortunately, they split it up. So we can hit it to the side here, and we're going to have some space. I'm going to pass this to my teammate because I'm low boost. So I'm just going to chip it in the air, neutral jump to, to recover, and then get back down at half field. And now I have to shadow because my teammate did cost ball a little bit. Hold power slide to recover, and that's going to allow me to follow this ball up and maybe take it off the wall. Neutral jump off the wall to follow it, and that was way too mechanical. Take that one off the board. Ignore that. It is 1-0. Um, we'll hit the ball into the corner because it's in the corner. I'm gonna have time to rotate out, line myself up with boost. Now this ball's coming to me, so I just want to make sure I beat them here. I get one soft touch into the air and then maybe follow it up. I'm low on boost. A flip reset would be better there, but I definitely shouldn't be allowed to flip. Re I shouldn't have the mechanics to flip reset. He'll beat me. I'm just gonna not commit and make sure I get their corner boost. Um, because I realized I was beat, right? So once you realize you're beat, I mean, cut your losses, right? He's gonna maybe center the ball. They are panicking hard. So I'm just going to pressure. I'm just a body here. I'm just forcing him to hit it into my corner. Nice. Now my teammate gets a free ball. And I can be a nuisance and my team gets, teammate gets a one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't convert the one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, we, we get more situations like that. We're going to win. Now I need to get into shadow position. Clear this ball across into my corner and just beat the guy who's over committing. He's going to get a beat. That's totally fine. Rotate back post once again. Play small pads. My teammate unfortunately booms that ball. That's not a great boom. We're going to lose possession. But he boomed it too hard. So we're actually going to be able to get away with it. And now we're going to have to reset. Let's get behind the teammate. Teammate will take a soft touch. He's going to go to the wall. I'm just going to wait at mid here and just see what happens. All right, nothing happens. So I'm just going to drift over to boost. And now I have boost. But I will need to shadow here and buy time. So once again, just what does he want to do? He's GC1. So what's he going to do? He's just going to push it into my corner and create no offense for his team. Why? Because we're GC1. Why would we take the ball through the center of the field when we could just put it in the opponent's corner? and they have an easy time. Why put the ball in the center of the field while attacking? Uh-oh. That's going to happen sometimes. If we get higher ranked, my teammates will score those passes more. So it's okay to pass once you're like GC1. That's fine. We'll go for back corner boost and resume. I should be cheating, actually. That's bad play for me. I'm going to go ground to air dribble here. First touch into the air, and I should be able to reset here, but I got a bad first touch. So you know what? We're just going to rotate out, make it easy on my teammate. That's what happens when you get mechanical. Shouldn't have got mechanical. My teammate will push it to the corner. Brilliant. So we just control our corner boost. Make sure we don't get demoed. 
And now we can take this one touch to the side, power side cut back in. Not quite quick enough on the power side cut, but it was the right idea. We'll get over to the back post here. He'll play one to the side. Just going to hit it around him. Fair enough. Just got to make sure I get this boost now. We got the boost. Unfortunately, my teammate is ripping shots from really far downfield. If he just do, does a soft touch into a hard touch, we'll have such an easy time. I'm going to have to chase this ball down. Maybe pre-flip. Oh, I messed up my flip, actually. But nice shot from the teammate. Enough opportunities. We'll get one. That's a great shot. I totally whiffed that, but <laughs> he did the passing for me. Imagine rotating back post. Nope, couldn't do it. Imagine rotating back post. Can't do it. We're GC1. We're too good for back post. We rotate front post and pass to the opponents. One hard touch off the side of the field. That's going to put the ball center for me. And then I can get a cut maybe around him. I should have gone for a demo there. I didn't have an angle to get a cut. So if I just go for a demo there, we score. Now I got to play back post. All right, we're safe. Going to rotate back up along the pads. Uh, and now I'll just wait back. My teammate might force something, but, you know, I just got to wait back. Great job for my teammate. Force his ball off of him. Now we have space. We're going to back up, let him commit, and then get a beat. My teammate has a better angle here, so I'm going to let him go. And just play back and, and grab boost so that way we can maintain pressure. And eventually, a team's going to crack if you maintain this much pressure on them. Just got to control this corner boost. The ball doesn't even matter here. Unfortunately, that corner boost didn't respawn, so now I'm going to have to get back. Teammate does a great job of forcing the flick, so now I can just get a soft touch and take it across to my corner. He might boom this away because he's GC, so, you know, they have no angles. Just keep it in the corner. They're not going to have angles. Um, and he's overcommitting a second man because we're in GC once again. And now we have pressure once more. They're super awkward, so we just have to wait. Wow, he actually gets a great backwards flick. I didn't expect that. Well played. And uh, But we're going to keep pressure going, and... He looks super awkward, so eventually we will crack here. Pretend that didn't happen, chat. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. Can we edit that out? Can we edit that out? Somebody edit that out. And that'll be uh <laughs> that'll be game two. <laughs> that'll be game <laughs> Game two. Winner by forfeit. Alright. Moving on to game wait, was that game one? That was game one. Okay, now we're on game two. I don't dislike any chats. I appreciate all the support and all the attention, except for one chat. Oh, we're playing against Thurge. The one chat I hate is GCs don't play like this in my games. Champ 2s don't look like this in my games. If I played Champ 2, they wouldn't play like this in my games. Guys, I hate to break it to you, and this is I say this out of love because I want to help you get better. It's my goal to help you get better. I mean, take my advice or leave it. You know, I'm just a guy on the internet. Um, on average, the games that you get at your ranks, they look just like this. This is an average GC1 game. Now, sure, one, one game may be different. You know, one, one game or another may be different. But on average, the games that you see me play at these ranks are like the games that you're going to play at these ranks. If it looks easier or it looks like we're getting free wins, it's probably, it's probably because, and this isn't me... You know, this is me not trying to be, like, narcissistic or anything. It's it's probably because my positioning's a little bit better than most people at these ranks as I get beat. <laughs> and so it's going to look easier, right? Because I'm going to be in better positions. Plays are going to come to me more. Um, so I, the comments where it's like, oh, I wish GC1 looked like this at my rank. Then I rank up. This is what GC1 looks like. GC1's just hit the ball into the corner repeatedly over and over again and overcommit a second man and it doesn't take much to beat them. But, you know, the more you think, oh, you know, I'm just unlucky, GC game, my games are hard, I always get Smurfs. If you think you always get Smurfs, you're gonna play with a negative attitude, right? Total tangent. Um, and now we're a minute and a half through the commentary, so I gotta play the game. Um, all right, ball's gonna come to the side. We're just gonna fake here, because we have no boost, and then get a beat on one that overcommits, and now rotate out. There's no play to be had in this corner. I have no boost, I'd rather just be second man. Play half boost way back. If my teammate can make a pass, great. You know, he, he makes a great pass there, but I can't be there in time to help out, so fair enough. Just let them overcommit. Now play back. They're just going to overcommit again. Unfortunately, I, I hit it to the corner. Um, I do everything I shouldn't do. We should have scored there. 100%. If I play better. I'm going to look for a demo, though. Can't quite get it. Whoa, that ain't a recovery. We're going to do a 360, and now we're back on this side of the field. All right. He coughs the ball away, so that's fine. Now I can just keep rotating through the play, play back around, and maybe I get a pass here. They have no second man splitting up the play, so I'm going to play center. Unfortunately, they get a beat, and they're a little slow to this, so I can get a double jump and just make it awkward for them. 
and uh, force a play. It's a little greedy for me to challenge there. I shouldn't leave my teammate back alone. We should have got scored on there. Should be 1-0 against us right now. And now I'm awkward on the back post, so I'm going to try to get to one of the sides at the very least. So at least I'm on a post now. And at least being on that post makes it easier for me to follow up. You know, whenever you do get into situations where you're, you notice you're on defense and you're awkward and you failed to rotate to a post, um, you, you at least want to pick one side and get to it. That way the whole net's in front of you. That's like always my default strategy. So that's what you'll see me do there. Teammate gets a great dunk. My teammate is playing great this game. I'm not, I need to focus and position better. I'm going to wait back half. Teammate forces ball for me. This guy looks awkward. So I'm going to get one soft touch and then a flick. That's going to make it awkward on him at the very least. I should have gone for an air dribble bump. Should have gone for an air dribble bump. He comes that he's low on boost. I can hit this ball to the side. And now I just need a 50 because I see him challenging early. He overcommits. I'm going to use my camera to check down once again. He's challenging too early. So I'm just going to cut. Um, I don't have a, any great play there. Um, if I get a better first touch, and I, I then maybe we can set something up. But it's more important to just put the ball around him and then keep possession rather than anything else. I can challenge early because he's slow to cut. Um, and once again, this guy's slow to cut. So I can challenge early again. Going to look for a demo at the midfield, and that will leave open for my teammate. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. If I didn't say that, that would have been free. If I didn't say it, it would have been free, but we're fine. All right. We'll cheat up here. 1-0. Finally, we're in the lead. We should be way... We If I play better, we should be way more up. Just going to get a simple beat on that guy. And then since this ball's already going mid, I was going to look for a demo, but I was too slow. I started calming the fact that I was going to go for a demo, and I didn't actually go for it. Played off the sidewall here. At least make it awkward on him. He'll bump me, but that's fine. We can keep pressuring them. Just need to make sure I don't get demoed here. He's going to hit it into my corner because he's GC. No angle. So as long as I stay near this ball, we should be fine. He's going to hit it over. I'm just going to keep rotating through because I'm awkward. No reason to, uh, no reason to do anything crazy there. Um, and this is a little mechanical. This is kind of like a muscle memory thing. Like, I just know the ball's above my head, so I just turn off ball cam and I just have to time it. That's just a trick that you'll learn as you rank up. I don't know. I, it, it is a little too mechanical. Let's let's say it's one nothing. We'll say it's one nothing right now. All right, I'll play center here. I'm kind of low boost. All right, now we're going to have to shadow. I don't know how he got that beat there, but we'll be able to recover. I really didn't think he got the beat on my screen. I at least bump him. Wave dash down, recover. Teammate should have this. I might be able to get a boost as he rotates through the midfield. Or a demo, I mean. I'm going to jump up, but notice this is a wheel touch. It's a wheel touch to my corner. And the reason I use the wheels is because now they don't... Now the shot is so hard for them, right? If I hit it hard off the corner, then it recenters. But if I jump up and I use the wheel touch, um, that's what makes it easy. We can just let the, let the ball die. That will be game two. We're going to win one nothing. That one was much closer than it should be because I went on a rant about ranking up. On to game three. Last game. Let's get it. Final game. Final game. We are playing with Mika. Oh, we got a Fennec player. Easy win. And these guys are cute. One is 1300. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. I'm going to grab half boost. This will roll to the center. So I can maybe get a 50-50 here and just try to rotate through. I'm going to grab boost. Unfortunately, my teammate gets beat. So I'm going to watch pass here. It looks like they have shot. That's my bad. I should have split that up. He's... <laughs> Bro, you can't pass back like that And when we're in a 2v1 and expect us to... And expect me to be able to read your mind. That is... Okay, but, you know, fair fair game. Maybe I should have been there for the pass. I'll let you guys decide. Maybe I should have been there for that pass. That is... That's not automatic to me in solo queue, but... Maybe that is my fault. We're gonna see. We might have a toxic teammate. I'm gonna notice how when I finish my play, I rotate out behind. This makes it easy for my teammate to know it's his turn to go for the ball. Right? Kind of an interesting concept. I don't know. Do with that what you will. Unfortunately, get a high 50 there. I challenged way too early, and if we get scored on, I'll say whoops. That's my bad. Absolutely my fault. Got greedy on the challenge. I'm a little I got a little tilted by that comment from that guy. I gotta focus up. I gotta focus up. 2-0. Alright, we get a great kickoff, and unfortunately my teammate doesn't go for the ball. Interesting. We cool? I'll wait behind him. Let's see the 50 he gets. He gets a good 50. Gonna play it high. And he 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 hits it off the backboard. Alright, interesting. This guy will play it to the side. I don't think he has boost. So I'm gonna do one jump. Follow through. I got to make sure I recover quickly here. 
get behind him, grab corner side boost, and then come back to the midfield. Yeah, I don't know, Mika. Your play hasn't been immaculate, my friend. We'll hit it to the side. Now we have a 2v1, so I'm going to play it over to him. Just get the ball down the field. And he's going for... I don't know what he's going for. We'll just watch shot here. He tries to do a power side cut. That was a good idea from Dog Gist or whatever this guy's name is. But he is quite overcommitted. And eventually, I think we're going to break through here. Unfortunately, don't get that side boost. That is pain. Timmy gets a decent 50. I'm just looking for this half boost and then trying to rotate out. Oh, my Lord. Where am I? Recover down, get boost. Okay, we're in that. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to leave corner boost for my teammate. Unfortunately, he gets demoed, so I'm going to turn back. Just watch shot. My teammate might be behind me, so I'm just going to cover. And he pre-jumps, even though I was jumped from the start. Interesting. Um... I'm not, and by the way, I don't mean to comment negatively on this guy's play to like be like, oh, you, you know, he's he's bad or to rat on him. Um, I, I want to point out mistakes more so for the benefit of you guys to be able to see. Um, and when I make mistakes too, please call me out on it because I am pff, absolutely not perfect. Um, but I just want you guys to be able to see as well, or at least from how I see it, you know, watching the replay, maybe I'll look back and be like, wow, I'm the idiot. Fair enough. Maybe I am. I definitely am. All right, we're back on track. We're down 2-1. Let's see if we can uh, pull through with Mika. All right, going to get a 50 to the side. He hits it into the corner. He gets a beat, which is good. My teammate's going to go back for corner boost. So I'm just really going to try to delay here. Get one soft touch forward. And now we can go for potentially an air dribble or double tap over one. You're GC1. You can do something like this, right? The key is the soft touch there and then taking it high and slow. That way I can watch what he's doing and be able to make a play around him once I know what he's doing. Mika did a good job with the clearance. So that'll be 2-2. Two, two. It's even now. I'm going to grab half boost here. It looks like he might get a boom. Um, his first touch was bad, but I don't know what's going to happen after this pinch. Now, now that they committed two, I'll make one touch off the side and maybe I can go for a demo here. What? I didn't get the demo. That's crazy. That's my bad. Okay, we'll hit the ball to the side. It'll recenter. I'm just going to go quick on this. He's already there, unfortunately. Mika hits it into the corner. Because we are GC1. We hit ball into corner on offense. That's what we do. Once again, we are GC1. We hit ball into corner. Not the best 50, but we have a 2v1. He's hitting ball to corner. I'll control it off the sidewall as best I can. Maybe get a wave dash cut. Not quite. So going to move through, grab corner boost, and maybe be here for a center. That's going to be a very high center. Can't quite get there in time. This guy will play. Um, hit it away, though, which gives Mika a free shot. Nice save from the opposing team. I'm going to hit this skied off the wall and then try to get back as quick as possible. Unfortunately, I don't get the, I, I, don't, I don't get in the way there, but their second man was grabbing boost. We should have got scored on again. Uh, but we're going to stay alive, and maybe we still have a shot at this game. He's going to take it up to the sidewall quick, so I'm just going to go for a dunk. And this is definitely mechanical. But this was mostly luck. Like, I'm not trying to double tap the ball here. I'm just trying to get a dunk. And then I get lucky because the read comes down. And, yeah, I don't know. Now Mika's saying nice shot. Okay. We'll hit him with the dice. Now, now he's happy. I don't know. I don't, I don't like players who trash talk and then all buddy-buddy when you're winning. It's like, come on, man. Going to make one soft touch. Try to follow it up. My first touch was too heavy, though. And Mika looks like he's in distress. We're going to have to help him out here. Play back post. We'll wait here. Wait for Mika. He looks like he's low boost. So I'm just going to keep playing back, back post. Just watch the reset. Nice. He's got nothing. I want Mika to take corner boost here. Unfortunately, they, they grab it. So that's fine. I know Mika's low boost. So I'm just going to be a body here. Try not to commit. I know he's still low boost. So... Just trying not to commit. Going to grab our corner boost, and now we should be fine. And they almost own goal? Not quite. This is going to go high off the wall and recenter. He might just miss. He doesn't just miss, so we're going to have to hit it high up to the side. At least make it awkward. He gets a bad first touch. Maybe pass it back to Mika. And is this how we lose? Yep. You can't win them all, chat. You can't win them all. I could have played better. I could have played much better. I had a bad 50 at the start of the game. That led to a goal. And... Um, I, I could have definitely played better. Thank you for the chats. Click the next video. 
Uh, and as always, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully I wasn't too annoying with my commentary of this video or too self-righteous. Thank you.